Okay, the next battle is against these two hobgoblin foot soldiers. Two archers and a siege engine. The siege engine attacking and the two archers. No first strike. And we got all bad rolls. Alright, the hobgoblins. Uh, nothing there. Let's press the attack. Still have the advantage. One kill. One kill. All right, we'll put that to the side. And the defense. One kill. Oh, good. So, um, I guess we'll each gonna lose a foot soldier there. Right. Uh, we still have the advantage, so let's press, press the attack. So that's going to give us the siege engine, but only one, only one archer. We got two kills. That's going to wipe out your hobgoblin, and everybody else is okay. So the hobgoblin is destroyed. So that's another land captured and another point for the elves taking them up to five now we have the elemental using capsize to attack this ship so the attacking storm elemental gets a kill uh, but does the ship destroy the elemental no one more time no so the ship is capsized and destroyed. But no points for the elves for that. All right, so here we have the elven dragon trying to get some revenge on this monster that ran amok <laughs> and took over all these lands. So the dragon's gonna attack with a D20 and the monster will defend with a D12. Okay, here goes the dragon. We have a 16. That is a kill. And now you can roll for the zombie. A 2. Yeah. So the dragon lives. The uh, Hulk here is killed. And this land is recaptured. But no points for that. Just simply recaptured. Okay, next is a pretty big battle. We have a monster with a d12, three attacking siege engines, and a dragon. Let's see what happens. I've got enough dice from the box to do two of the three siege engines, the monster and the dragon. So here's the attack. We've got a kill and a kill and that's it and I get to roll two more d8s for the third siege engine which gets nothing well for the defense uh, somehow I've got to remember this we've got two kills let me just put a little uh, two up here with the red dice. We've got a defending dragon. We've got a skeleton warrior. And we've got an enemy fighter. All defending. So I'll let my wife roll those. And that's a good roll. That's two kills on her side. So it's two, two. Well, let's make our choices. I guess I'll go first. Uh, I guess I will lose a couple of siege engines. And you get to choose How two. Many? Your dragon can take a hit if you want it to oh, take okay. a hit. Why don't I take a hit with the dragon and that little one is going to... All right, so we'll turn your dragon over, and we'll take him off. Okay. Can the dragon still fight? The dragon can still fight. Okay. So 
let me gather the dice for the next press. We're about to continue another battle here, but my wife decided to play the Dragon Plague. And that's going to battle, that's going to damage my dragon one point. So my dragon is going to flip also. All right, let's keep going. I've got my die pool, my dice pool here with my wounded dragon, the attacking siege engine, and the trend. Three kills. That should wipe out your dragon and your fighter. So I'm going to put a little red three up here. And now you get to roll for your dragon and your uh, fighter. Nothing. Okay. Well, that worked out for the elves. Getting a little revenge. <laughs> so the dragon and the fighter are out. And since that's a, uh, a land that belonged to the Karkoth uh, Empire, that's going to earn them a victory point. So let's tie it up with the... Uh, Mm -hmm. the, the silver one, yes. So they have a score of six now. Okay, we've got another first for the series. And that is a battle that's involving a castle. A castle rolls a d20, but it's not destroyed. It can be captured. So we've got on the offense, uh, an elf, noble, a wizard, an attacking siege engine, and an archer. And the dice look like this. The wizard is the only one currently with first strike. However, the elves have a card called Rage. And this allows uh, the fighters in battle to gain first strike until the end of the battle. So my two red dice are going to be rolling first. And we've got one kill. And then she has a wizard who gets first strike. We'll let her roll her wizard. Just the only wizard? Just the wizard. This is first strike damage. Right. So, uh, you have to choose one of those to be defeated. Uh, probably the skeleton, huh? Yes. All right, we'll take him out. So he's out of the fight. And now... The <clears throat> siege engine and the archer will attack. Got nothing. And then you have uh, your castle. Uh, what did you just remove? Skeleton? The skeleton. Uh, right. The knife was skeleton. Yeah. Okay. All right, all right. Oh my oh, god! Somebody is going down. That's going to be the archer for sure. Okay. Press the attack. Yes, I'll press the attack. Still learning the game. It looks like that an entire battle is fought in rounds. So uh, they have this rage ability until the end of the battle, not just the round. So that's good. Um, we'll let them attack again, and we're going to have first the uh, noble and the wizard. Don't want to forget my wizard's uh, ring of wizardry. So I'm gonna have to roll these separately. Here's the wizard, and he got a ten, so no need to re-roll that. Here's the noble. They got an eight. That's two kills. That's that's excellent. Okay. The wizard. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no! Alright, the wizard is going down. So the wizard is destroyed. And then the castle was killed with a first strike attack. So I think it said something about turning the castle upside down. <laughs> <laughs> to indicate that it's been conquered. So there we go. Uh, that's going to... 
allow the elves to place a marker there. Do I move it? And let's move them up to seven points. So the elves are at seven, now in second place. Well, sadly, I think the Valen Alliance can do no more. They've gotten seven victory points, which is pretty good. And now it's time to reposition. So let's heal our dragon. I think, first of all, I'm going to leave this elemental here on the same space. And my other flying units have to see if I want to move my dragons anywhere. They can only move to friendly spaces. Hmm. Maybe I will move this dragon one space there. For the reinforce phase, we had um, 15 gold to work with. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and then 15. That's going to total 15 gold. All of these are fighters and we have a dragon. Okay, we need to put a fighter here and move him to this unoccupied land. We need somebody there so that that dragon doesn't just swoop down and take it. I think we'll put another fighter there for uh, defense. Since that's our capital and Thinking about putting a dragon, starting him here, and moving the dragon one, two, three, and putting him here. And putting a fighter, moving him out, putting a fighter, moving him out, putting our last fighter here. And what I did was I had fighters put in there, move, move, and started one here, and I'm going to move him over there. So we do have some unprotected areas, but uh, they've got to break through. I don't think that an enemy unit can move across that dungeon tile. I think they have to stop there. Well, during the collect income, we're going to take uh, 16 gold and that will end our turn.